South Hill neighborhood is upset with the city of Spokane for a lack of maintenance on new storm swales. Those swales were installed a year ago and extend 10 blocks south from 44th Avenue on Crestline. KXY Force Katie Curry working for you now with an issue that has neighbors pulling out more than just their hair. Katie. Nadine, as part of the city's integrated clean water program, the city of Spokane and Spokane County installed storm, storm swales. While neighbors understand the benefits they offer, it is leaving these residents with a thorn in their side. In this South Hill neighborhood, it is hard to find a lawn that isn't manicured. Many of the homeowners say they take pride in their properties, so to have their streets lined with bays of weeds is nothing short of frustrating. We're all just kind of knocking down the weeds at this point. I think we're all waiting for an answer from the city. What is it that you guys are going to do here? Tell us what your intention is so we know what to do. The storm swales were installed a year ago, and with them being city property, Nick Bianco and his neighbors were under the impression the city would be the one maintaining them. Then we haven't heard anything from the city if they're going to plan it or if we're supposed to take care of it or whatever, but at this point, uh, it's just, I mean, it's kind of mute. Bianco says neighbors were expecting the swales to resemble the ones on Lincoln, just north of 29th. Instead, they are filled with thick weeds that are spreading from the swales to their backyards. Neighbors are concerned it is a safety issue with the dry brush. And the good thing is they sprayed it with seed so that it didn't erode. And that part was great, uh, but then we were told they're going to come plant it. The city says they are monitoring the swales, and what these South Hill residents are seeing is normal with hydro seed. So it takes up to two years for that to take, so it's not uncommon for it to not have, have really rooted at this point in time. So we'll continue to monitor that, keep track of it, and then in the fall, if uh, it hasn't taken, we'll go back and redo it. Bianco says if the city doesn't want to maintain the storm swales, they should consider filling them with gravel so it isn't such an eyesore. Otherwise, it's a long-term maintenance deal, so if they're prepared to do that, great, let's do that. If they're not prepared to do that, then let's hear what it is they want to do. The city tells me they will be out this week and next week spraying for weeds. Reporting in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXOI4 News. Thank you.